How do you paint folds in fabric? The problem that most people have when they paint folds is they try to shortcut it too much. And you really have to look for the light side and then the turning side and then the shadow side. Most people try to paint fabric by just making a slash here for the light and another slash for like the turn, another slash for shadow. And it just does not really work well. You really got to look for the brightest bright and then the bleached out light and then the turning color, and then the shadow and a little bit of reflection color. And then you do repeat the same thing on the next piece of fabric. And that's where people get into trouble. Now, when I'm demonstrating, I might do just some slashes here here and there just to get it in but if you really want the fabric to show like it's an important part of the painting then you really have to take your time and really look at the folds and what's involved in that right see here we have that shadow and then there's a little bit less and then there's the light part and then it gets a little bit darker a little little bit um more colorful and then it moves into shadow. So you have to really look for what you're seeing here. You just can't put one slash here and then see that reflected light right in there. You can't put a slash here and then a slash here and another slash here. I mean, if you really want it to look like folds, I mean, you will be kind of grandfathered or granted that it looks like folds just if you put slashes in there. But if you really want a fold to look like a fold, it's there's a quite a bit of work on it in, in painting fabric and that's where what happens to most people now in most cases like here's really an interesting piece of fabric right here right if you ever really like fabric you should look at claudio bravo his paintings he's like from chile or somewhere like that and he just did the most beautiful fabrics but anyway you really have to be sensitive with it and go slow sort of like if you painted this part of this garlic i mean basically this garlic is folds in garlic much like the folds in the fabric you just have to look at the bright side the highlight the turning color the shadow the cast shadow and then it all kind of starts again with another little knob right there so my experience from dealing with students over the years is when they have problems with fabric it's almost always i'm trying to think if it's always or not it's almost always because they're not taking the time and really sensitively looking at it and getting all the little parts in there and it doesn't mean you can't make long brush strokes you know like a sergeant or a soroya or a zorn but you still have to make sure they're all there look at that piece of reflected light and then that shadow and then we're up here to the regular light part of it you see what i'm saying you just have to make sure you get all those little parts in there if you want it to look like a shadow but if you get this cut look at it, how many there's one two three four different just in that little area here there's four different colors and values you know values are really just a subset of colors really four colors in that shadow there and if you're not if you try to just do all that with one it won't it won't lay down right and that's what people would do they would try to do all four of those different pieces of color in one brush stroke then they'd come back with this one and that one and that wouldn't look right and they wouldn't understand why and it's because you you have to really stay true to what you really see in there if you are not trying to make it look like abstract shadow or abstract fabric if you want abstract fabric then it's real easy you can be a little bit more slapdash with it but if you really want a fold to look like a fold that's where people get into problems all right you guys take care